and shelters in the Miami-Dade, Broward County areas. They're already at or near capacity. Broward County Commissioner Michael Udina with us on the phone right now. Commissioner, thanks for taking the time. How are things looking there? Thanks, Neil. Um, we have uh, 14 shelters open right now. Uh, the county is opening more shelters as we speak. We'll be disseminating that information. We have some pet-friendly shelters that are, that are full. We'll be opening more pet-friendly shelters. People are starting to heed the warnings, and they are starting to shelter uh, in appropriate facilities set up by Broward County. Um, then you have another group of people that are, that are fleeing the area and, and heading north, and they're running into major traffic throughout the state of Florida as they head north from uh, Monroe County, Miami-Dade County, through Broward, uh, and it's presenting an issue on the roads. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, how safe are the shelters, Commissioner? I mean, uh, obviously, they're in harm's way themselves, but, I mean, what do, you, what, do you, what do you think? These shelters are hardened facilities. They're all staffed by uh, Red Cross volunteers. Uh, they're supplied uh, as appropriately for a storm. Uh, of this magnitude, and you know they're they're really a place though of last resort. They're telling people if they can get out of low lying areas and shelter uh, with friends or family out of uh, harm's way, that's uh, preferable. Preferable. But the shelters do offer a respite, and the special needs shelters and the pet friendly shelters do have the ability to take people and their pets in and keep them out of harm's way. Um. Do the shelters have generators? I mean, obviously the governor was intimating that people are going to be without power and could be a while. Um, there's no way to know for sure, but what do you do in that event? The shelters do have backup power supply. They are built. Uh, we're using schools throughout the county, which is one of the reasons that the schools needed to be closed down so early so that we can start those evacuations because we have a, a, a lot of people that we want to get out of the low-lying areas into these shelters. Uh, at some point, they'll continue. I think the county has the ability to open up to 43 shelters and to shelter 33,000 residents, uh, if need be. Um, the first batch of, uh, with 12,000 in capacity, it's probably uh, about a little more than halfway full, those different shelters that they have. Some are full, individual shelters are full, and they're sending them to different facilities. But the county will step up and make sure that these shelters are available for any of our uh, residents that need them for whatever the reason may be. This storm is so big and the magnitude and the size of the storm, which, you know, if you look at it on your map on the screen, covers the entire peninsula oh. or, or, or has the potential to do that. So, you know, it, it, this is going to be unprecedented, but the county, Broward County, and our emergency operation people and our sheriff, we're ready for this. We train for this. And uh, we're doing what we can to, you know, make sure our goal is not to see anybody lose, you know, any life loss. I mean, properties can be obviously fixed and, and repaired. Yeah, you're right about that. Get priorities right. And you're right, uh, Commissioner, it is a massive storm. If you put it over Florida, it would cover Florida, much of Georgia and South Carolina. It's that big. So thank you, well, sir, very much. Oh, go ahead. Finish that. Right. Point. Which is... Uh, the, the issue that you're seeing with the traffic. There, you know, most of the people are staged to the north of us and will have to come down the peninsula and they'll have to wait for the entire uh, storm system to pass before it's, it's safe for them to proceed down to South Florida. Yeah. But we're resilient in Broward County. We'll get through it. I have no doubt you will. Commissioner, be safe yourself. Thank you very much, sir.